I barely knew what's his name. Who was it? Oh, David Bowie, of course. Oh, I loved his music. Really good performer. Changed fashion in so many ways. Was progressive, unpredictable. Seemed like he was an alien, right? He was cast as an alien in a movie. And he had a, a feeling of inevitability. He was everywhere. And he uh, was, I know what it was. The word I'm looking for, immortal. He was immortal. So when he died, it was a shock to everybody. Well, I met him one day. We were down in Mexico. We we're doing a behind the scenes film for this film, Yellow Beard. And my wife and I, Marilyn, went to a party and we went to the Sip and Dip private party at a beautiful swimming pool and everybody there was a star you know david Bowie was there and leaving the worries of my profession behind and an 18th century galleon pulled around the cove on a longboat that came to the shore carrying half monty python crown and told me she and sean were on their way <laughs> this is the end of my holiday um but i do something in the movie yellow bit Like a fin, a sharp fin. Peter Boyle and Madeline Kahn and Marty Feldman. Anyway, there was a lot of interesting people there. We got completely plastered. Oh dear, my knickers, I'm coming up. Well, don't give me my... Uh, I had rented a white Jeep, which when you come to the airport in this, in Ixtapa. I mean, that's the only choice you have is white Jeep or a white Jeep at the time. So there's a lot of white Jeep rentals, you know, out there. So David Bowie and Graham Chapman left the party, jumped in a white Jeep and drove it off. They were headed for a brothel. What happened is when they got to the brothel, they rear-ended a taxi cab. So they had a, some drugs in the car, and they didn't want to be caught for this accident, which is clearly their fault. And uh, so they, what they did is they just had the whole Jeep disappeared. It went into a garage somewhere in town, and, you know, that, that was it. Nobody knew about it. So, uh, except me, I had uh, been getting ready to leave the party later, and I go out, and my Jeep's not there. Oh my God, they, they, they must have got in my Jeep by mistake because I left the keys in it, you know, trusting as I am. And uh, so uh, that left the kind of a dilemma, meaning that uh, where's my Jeep? It's a rental. It's been hidden. Now you can't get it back. So, uh, hmm, what to do? So later that same night, it so happens. I mean, uh, uh, David had come back to the hotel, and I, I think he was like really wanted to party. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Marilyn and I, we wanted to go out somewhere and party, but for some reason they stopped all transportation. It's about 11 or 12 at night. Somewhere they shut it down. So David and Marilyn and I were just sitting on the steps, and uh, we. Did, we we hardly said a word to each other. We spent a, we spent probably about an hour, hour and a half sitting on this, thinking that it was some kind of transportation going to come, which never came. So anyway, the, the whole thing got sorted out eventually by the producer. They they recovered the jeep, returned it to the rental company. It took about four days, and all of the financial things were straightened out. Um, I think it was the following night after the accident. I ran into David at the at the di at the restaurant downstairs, and uh, you know we had a little chat about it. And he was saying yes, we were going out. Uh, and anyway, uh, he's sort of like, you know, <laughs> it doesn't happen every day. Well, it so happens that the production company was three days behind schedule, and. They made an insurance claim on Graham Chapman's knee because he was the lead actor and he couldn't work. So they picked up some insurance policy that covered the three days they lost. So it actually put the film back on schedule. So that was a good thing for the film.
I used to be a big fan of his music. So I'm sorry to see him go so early because he seemed like he was an immortal. How could this happen to an immortal human being? Well, <laughs> we're all mortal. That's the end of the story. Jolly good, Henson. Thank you, sir. Well done. Shall I meet you in the pump room, sir? That's, that's, that's all I've been briefed on.